the Northern Planet here today, and I just wanted to do a video on the difference between your first true leaf and leaves and your um, cotyledons. So we're only going to be looking at dicotyledons today. I don't believe. Yeah, I don't have any monocotyledons growing at the moment, so we're just going to be looking at the epigeal, meaning above ground, um, dicotyledons. Um, Hypogeal is the ones that grow below the surface. So epigeal cotyledons actually um, cause photosynthesis. And the purpose of a cotyledon um, is different for um, who you talk to and um, different botanists all around the world, but generally... The rule of thumb is it's used to give the seedling that first bit of um, energy it needs to grow stem, roots, and its first true leaves. Um, and I also personally um, believe that the cotyledons on the plant are actually um, used to help get the plant out of the soil. Um, now, the reason I say that is because as you can see back here with this guy, he still has a seed attached to the top of his cotyledons. But the cotyledons, as you can see, are a spade shape, meaning that they look similar to a shovel. That is going to cut through the soil a lot easier than something like this. Now, I know you probably think with these jagged ed edges and stuff, it would do a better job, but that's not always the case, because all of these little um, divots that go inwards are going to cause, um, or our larger surface area and it's going to cause friction so it's going to slow down um, the speed in which this can get out of the soil. Um, the other reason is cotyledons are actually a lot um, tougher than that of the first tree leaves. So um, these up here is um, these are cucumbers and as you can see I'll just show you here um, when I pinch this there's a uh, quite a bit of um, flex back. Now if I was to pinch this all the way, see that break there? I can actually break the cotyledon because it is so firm. These guys, the first true leaves, these two here, um, are very flexible, meaning that I don't feel like they would be cutting through the soil quite as well as that of a cotyledon. So I'm twisting this leaf right up and I can let go of it and there's no cracks, there's no divots, it's completely fine. So that's my theory on why those cotyledons exist, is just that um, not only the initial photosynthesis and the energy, but also in um, many cases it's actually the shovel that pushes the actual plant above the ground so it can start photosynthesizing. So these eventually will fall off, so don't worry when they do, that's completely normal. Um, just like an old leaf it'll fall off and they just don't serve the purpose that they need to serve, uh, serve um, because again it goes back to the surface area on this leaf is much higher due to all the bumps and the, the crevices and the cracks and all that stuff. The surface area on this leaf is much much higher than that of a cotyledon meaning that this is going to photosynthesize a lot better than that of a cotyledon and it's going to capture more sun due to all the different angles and reflective surfaces. So. That's why these will eventually die off. On this other side, I have, oh, by the way, that's the um, uh, the wild seeds we have right now. So on this side here, I have a cotyledon still on my um, Black Eyed Susans, but I'm slowly losing them. As you can see, they're starting to turn color and fall off. Um, that's good. That's normal. That's what we want. So thanks for watching guys as you can see my greenhouse is filling up so get excited because i am um but thanks for watching give it a thumbs up comment below what you think cotyledons are for and why they don't last forever or why they even exist and um we will see you guys next time Bye bye